Hello YouTube, today I have another video for you, another iPad tutorial and today we'll be talking about how to use your iPhone as a Wi-Fi hotspot for your iPad. This is uh, such a good function uh, between these two devices because this means that one, you don't have to pay that extra uh, money for the 3G compatible um, iPad and also you can browse on the big beautiful display of the iPad 3 um, using the Wi-Fi from your iPhone. So, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how you actually uh, set this up. It's quite simple, but here we go. So this is the iPhone 4S, it's the same as the iPhone 4. So you're just going to go into settings and um, you've got all of your things, normal things here, and then you're going to go to personal hotspot and then you're just going to turn that on and it will come out and then it will say now discoverable and then uh, just down there it's going to give you a name and that's the name of your um, discoverable sorry that's the name of your uh, hotspot so then we're going to go to the iPad and we'll go into settings and then again normal settings stuff and you're going to go to Wi-Fi and uh, that uh, name will now be what you choose um, as a Wi-Fi, just as normal. So now that's connected and uh, if you're doing this as new, which I suppose all of you will be, uh, you'll have to input a password which you can find on the page on your iPhone just there and that will be your password which you can put in so no one else can um, sort of have a ride on your 3G. So now, up in this top left corner it's not actually the Wi-Fi um, a sort of symbol you can see, it is the hotspot. And uh, as you can't see, it hasn't got great focus on this camera, but it looks like that. Um, how I can best describe it. And now you are ready to go. You can use your internet, you know, you can load your email. Basically, it's like a, it's just like a Wi-Fi. So that's a really, really useful um, tool. And up here, you can see on the iPhone there's a, it goes blue at the top to tell you that your personal hotspot and you've got one connection. So this means that if, if you had a family of people and you're in a place with no Wi-Fi, you know, one person could be using their iPad, another person could be using their iPod Touch. You can have multiple people using uh, this hotspot connection. So this is a really great feature and uh, I hope I've taught you uh, well on how to do that and I use it definitely a lot. It's a really good function. Thanks a lot YouTube.